Yo, check it out, guys. My portable AC manifold gauge set. She's getting a pretty worn out and cracked, and this fitting's binding. So it's time for a new set. So OMT sent me over this set. Let's unbox it. I'd say this is quite an improvement over my old set here. Look at this uh, manifold gauge set. Big fold-out carrying case. It opens up. Leak detector and a vacuum pump. Got the whole set put together. Took about like five minutes. Hook it up like so. We got our vacuum pump here off the black hose. We got a refill off the yellow hose. Just did a condenser, accumulator, orifice tube, you know, all that good stuff on this 3500. Came into me with no refrigerant because of a leak, totally empty. So first thing we're gonna do is vacuum down. I already vacuumed, it is holding. So we shouldn't have any leaks, pretty simple. You get your black hose connected to your vacuum pump, turn it on, nice and quiet. Looks like a pretty good solid pump. You can even bolt it down. Has an oil reservoir for longevity, a filter. Let's shut this off. We know our vacuum is holding. We should be sealed up, so we're ready to charge. I happen to have a scale for my R134 here. I'm gonna go ahead and look up the spec on how much the capacity is on this AC. Sometimes it says right on the vehicle information, but you can't read this sticker. Make sure you add the proper amount of PAG oil, whatever type your vehicle takes. I have a oil injector that's handheld, which is pretty cool. This system is gonna take 26 ounces of 134. Our scale shows us at 438 ounces, so at 412, we cut off the flow by simply turning the knob. We'll start the vehicle up and uh, put the AC to max. 26 ounces in, and this is what we're looking for. The low side and high side are equal with the vehicle off. As we turn the AC on with the engine running, it will drop down and rise up. Every vehicle is different with its specs, amount of oil, amount of refrigerant, type of refrigerant, so make sure you look everything up before you get started. Then of course we could use the leak detector from the kit, but this held vacuum perfectly, so there's a good chance we have no problems with any of the parts we installed. With all the valves closed, we read our pressure, low side, high side, put the exact amount that the book called for in it, Come on over to the vehicle and make sure it's blowing out that cold, cold air. And it is. Perfect. Let's go ahead and shut her down. Double check our valves are off on everything. Pop our quick connects off. Ooh, we have a problem here. We have a bad valve. Uh-oh. This cap will seal it off for now. Let's pull this one off. You can always do the soapy water test on these. I like to hold my finger over it for a little bit and see if any pressure builds up. The toolkit did come with a valve remover right here. So what we have to do now is collect all this refrigerant, take the valve out. It's just like a valve stem for a tire. Put a new one in and then recharge it. So you get your small size and your large size. Fits right in there and then you, right there it's locked in and then you turn lefty-loosey. They do make a tool now where you can replace those valves without having to evacuate and recover. I'm really wishing I bought one now. I'll get one. Soapy water test, just a bottle of soapy water. Spray it in there, look for bubbles. This one's not bu bubbling on us. Blow that soapy water out with some compressed air and always replace your caps when you're done. 